bench with the invis rune looking to get the There's going to be crit snapped back and got the silent stuff. It looks like that bird won't be flying much longer, but Teddy actually lived for the entire duration of the static storm. He is able to go and get off the ult. Now Universe is going to be moving forward and this year is going to be able to keep the cheese DKDs up and now she's going to be looking to turn the fight back around. As I said, still stuck in the three coil and now XY isolated in. Another hook shot forward and a chrono onto two. Looking uh, pretty good for AG so far. They get two down. Shadow Thief, oh, he goes down as well. He's down for 100 seconds. Does have buyback, but it's only Weaver left alive to tell his tale. Nice, but they'll be staying back again. Clockwork's job in lane is just don't die. Try to, you know, pretend to mitigate pressure. But, yeah. Just don't die, play safe, get your level 6, and then start to rotate with your team, set up some clutch Radiant shots, courier watch has the rest been of your killed. team do the damage. Courier kill in the mid, jabs rotate forward and does find it. Station down there, which isn't a bad idea, so... Watch that as I go. Pull some dire creeps into it, start to take down a very, very difficult situation. <laughs> so we are going to have our first blood as everyone just jumps in. Disruptor, the unfortunate casualty. Sumail makes his way up and is able to help out Universe. So, really ahead. Is he going to be falling off in the game? Or can he just keep this lead rolling? There's still the big team fight. He looks strong now, but once he pick up some damage, Dyer's top tower has fallen. Yep, going in. Forward, static storm comes out, but the puck is able to fly away. Chronosphere comes in, but the do ends up catching Life Stealer in it. Life Stealer's done, and now Universe pushed away by the cause. It's not going great so far for EG. It's gonna be a leap out. Looks like Venge gets low, but isn't gonna be killed off just yet. Zai can't even make it up to Puncher once. And now Jab's still going forward. The bug's doing a number on Tissue Mail, and the player is gonna be dodged out by the face shift. Under attack. Mail looks like he's able to make it back to base. Radiant's Jabs. middle tower Don't has fallen. Follow up. Let's have so many tanky items on their heroes. It is easy to do damage. You do anything. Radiance top tower is under attack. Gonna see now. Crit trying his best to swap it out some fire spirits, but this tower is melting low. Zai does have the ult ready. Three seconds off with Oak Throat. There is going to be that splat at the end of that bomb, but nice time lapse off. Weaver very quickly. Looks like Puck is going to be the one eating all the damage. BKB coming forward. Shadow Fiend now. White right clicking onto our team. Does have the Aegis, so he's continue to press forward here. Meanwhile, Jabs are support Weaver. Trying to live with armlet toggles in the trees, and it looks like he's doing his best. Might be able to take out the Venge. Oh, the Venge lives just a fraction of health. He's down. Top tower has fallen. His three cores have buyback, but I don't know if it's going to be enough. The tier three pressure is starting to come in, and Black still has that Aegis. Only 23 minutes in. Shadow King is ridiculous to farm. Still has the Aegis and he has a wonderful court staff behind him. Alright, dust right out. Zai is losing trouble here, just wandering into the corner of the map. But looks like this could be a really early GG in favor of Faceless. They are just having to spawn universe. Able to go forward, will be able to pop the Aegis of the Shadow Fiend, but he's now coming back in bigger and badder than ever. Meanwhile, Ice Ice Zai is hanging out in the tree, talking to himself for fun. and. GG, they just can't find any kills off the back of this. Finally, face this little guy up with it. But they want to burn down X, Y, and the tree. TPing out. There is going to be a green coil to stop that TP. They do score the kill in the back. They're looking for more. They will find Disruptor, so a little bit of a cleanup going on, but still a lot of work before EG makes up that big lead. We'll see. Fire Spear plopped out by Crit. Black just dodging those, and it's no big deal. And like we talked about, big change here is Venge has that 10 second piece. Try to fight with it. Like he's dumping out some damage onto Zai. He's got vision of him, and he's popped out. There is going to be the overflow from Zai holding three in place. And to Chrono. Also, kind of being. I mean, they are going to be burning down to Venge for Spirit. And the storm comes out, but he's doing any real damage. Nuts! Gonna be time lapse back. The Weaver opting to help save the supports. There's a double three coil as Puck spawns back into the fight. They do finally get down that pesky disruptor, but trade once more for Crit. Black still full health, full mana. So he's content to keep going, but the rest of his team—they've got it back. They can't fight without this bend. Much 
better than going for a desolate. Dyer's structures are fortified. Kind of close to that first component of the butterfly, and you know, shows himself down here. There is going to be a small back. He's going to try to orb himself to freedom and drops the dream coil onto two. Why so confused about who they're going on? A little bit of indecision may cause waste with their lives here. Bend already popped out the BKB, is going to be saved by the Weaver, just trying to walk her way back to freedom. There is still a tier one tower to help her out. Artesian is going ham. Looks like he will opt to back off. Now the egg comes out as black, he just right clicking away, and they will be able to get down to it. That Phoenix not coming back into the fight now. Artizi gonna be surrounded here, pushed back by the cogs. He's got no more mana. There is gonna be Universe coming forward, but another time lapse may just save the bench. It's not gonna be enough. She goes down. Artizi still alive. Requiem of Souls drop down. They do score the kill on Artizi. Now Zai revealed in the trees. They popped in another sentry, and they will be able to clean up the tree as well. So Venge and that's the stuff they're traded for three heroes. Black going in, a couple more swaps forward. They are going to be able to initiate onto the bench, but the bench. Time up to the team. Two heroes caught in the chronosphere, and there's going to be a hook shot in. Two more heroes are going to be able but this is the bench for spirit. She's going to be dead. No chance to keep it. She's not getting very, very low, but it'll be back up to enough health to stay back in there. Ice, Ice, Ice trying to make his way towards Frida, but he's burning. He will be going down, so EG, without losing a single hero, take down a core. Pesky offlaner now Jabs is able to go Dyer's bottom attack is under or attack. The male finishes off another. It didn't happen, so I'm just gonna free him to farm up. Weaver has a Lotus Warp now, so he's building into all these utility items. I have zero idea what he'll get next because I've never seen Weaver farm. <laughs> Yeah, he was, you know, jungling really aggressively with no vision of the jungle. Now Radiant, they're pushing right back up under Dyer's shrine. There's gonna be that time lapse spend out of the ice ice ice, and now Black can be going forward. The egg is swapped out, but there's gonna be the silence and the dream coil. The disarm comes forward, so Dyer's gonna have to run from the egg. Meanwhile, in the chrono, they are able to lock down the Weaver and get down Jab to the DC out the XY, and the Yules brings it right up to the Vengeful Spirit. Now gonna be healed as well. This is EG turning it right back around, able to leave their base and find three kills without losing a single hero. Yeah, a pretty predictable play from Faceless, but Faceless, they've got all their ults up. Death Dealer Infest Bomb still down for another 20 seconds, but we'll have it when the fight comes in. Now Faceless, they're going for the offensive play here. XY Smoke is going to pop. So you see the Tramp Protector, they are going to swap her back into the high ground here. He's going to immediately overgrowth. Meanwhile, XY taking some serious damage. There's going floor. Universe pops the chrono, does slip onto one, but can't do anything about it. Two heroes stuck in the cogs, and there's going to be a nice static from the two RTP. This is being pumped away from the cogs, and XY very, very low. Be going down. Sumail still going to be low. The crit joining the escape plan, but Jabs hot on their heels. They can't focus down RTP, but he's probably the most difficult to focus of the heroes. They make their way to the bottom shrine. They're able to heal up. Faceless are still pursuing this. Universe. Have a surprise inside. The infest bomb drops out as Artizi claims another victim. Universe to bring up the time dilation. And there's going to be another dream coil. It seems like Faceless may have overstayed their weapon here. Let's see if EG is able to finish anything off the time lapse on the ice 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 to keep them nice and healthy. And now Artizi, very low mana, starting to get low health as well. Ice 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 is going to be taking the down. So very, very long, drawn out fight. We'll see if Jabs is going to get out okay. Looks like he makes it to the lane. But doesn't have a teepee, so he's got a long scurry home. Zai again gonna be the scout. Weaver does have a gem. We'll see if he's gonna poke his head close enough to reveal that same protector. But for now, he's gonna settle for deboarding and making sure that EG are working with us. That's great gonna be swapped back. That's where the fight's gonna start. They use the silence on the Phoenix. Phoenix is slow and Phoenix does drop. There's no egg in this fight. XY did use KC, so he doesn't have that. For the rest of the engagement, now it's easy to get a press forward. He goes to the infest. Now, time lapse. Off the Shadow Fiend keeps everyone healthy. Chrono comes in onto two. Universe, though, his attention split a little bit thin. He's going to get stunned up and can't do anything with the Chrono. A hook shot back in. And they do have vision on him, so he goes down. That two heroes dead without buyback and faceless. They're going to press forward and start taking racks here. Big silence comes out of Sumail. He's going to go and leave. As Radiant's all of the mid-racks are taken, they're gonna rotate fault. the bottom right quick. Yeah. Our team's still up and at full health, but... 
Radiant's bottom barracks this is has a fallen. huge turning point for Faceless. They felt stagnated for so long, but this is it. Sumail gonna go for it. They are gonna swap Arteezy. They get the silence on him. They're stunning him up as well. And Arteezy is gonna be able to walk away, but Hookshot in. Ice 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 finds him on the back line. He is gonna be able to armlet toggle and get himself out of that sticky situation, but it's making enough time for so Black to be able to go and slap these towers. It's a triple man dream coil, but it doesn't seem to matter. They're all just standing in place hitting towers. Dag into the belly, does finish off and here comes the big flyback. A big zoom in from the Phoenix, going with the egg as well, and it looks like with that disarm pop forward, he does have to back himself off with the nail. Connor Spear does clip. On the back here, this could be huge. They could actually get down Black a second time. Another Dagon from Sumail able to go and lock down Nuts. So if Shadow Fiend bursts the world, immediately gets silenced and disarmed and immediately gets killed. My goodness, they took down an Aegis and three heroes. Haste! Invisibility. Incoming! Alright, Ice Ice playing a bit of a dangerous game. They do have Vengeful Spirit nearby, though. Bench with the Invis Rune looking to get the. There's going to be Crit. Snapped back and you know, silenced up. It looks like that bird won't be flying much longer, but can he actually live to the entire duration of the static storm? He is able to go and get off the oak. Now Universe gonna be moving forward. And this year is gonna be able to keep the team's DKDs up and now she's gonna be looking to turn the fight back around. As I say, still stuck in the three coil and now XY isolated in. Another hook shot forward and a chrono onto two. Looking uh, pretty good for AG so far. They get two down. Shadow Thief. Oh, he goes down as well. Down for 100 seconds. Does have buyback, but it's only Weaver left alive to tell his tale. Jab's going to be scuttering, trying to wrap himself around, but. <laughs> now, Black definitely needs the help of his teammates for this. Got to be very careful to drop that static storm without meaning. And now, Arteezy just. Jumping up, they know he's got ages, so they can't get too crazy. And there's gonna be the hex swap in. And this is gonna be huge. They do end up finding the kill in the pocket. Go ahead and buy back, but get back into this fight is tricky now. All popped up by Universe, but he's fighting outside the Chronosphere. Eventual Spirit makes it so vulnerable. The last one to make it back up to the high ground. Dream Coil comes forward, and they force back the clockwork. So Ice 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 is stunned. You know, it's really going to work on him. I'll just push back our team. Rest of face with the Brian back. They gotta withstand the Shadow Feed. Starting to get low. Gonna be shining up and living through it. But another Dream Coil comes out. She's eaten up and oops. Yeah, that's gonna be ice, ice, ice. Very, very low. Able to force himself back to freedom. Faceless, they're all still staying alive right now. And they do end up blocking down our TZ. He's going too forward. He does have to get this. But this is the fight that EG wanted. So they're gonna have to back up. Defense comes back up from Arteezy. Another swap in. They know he doesn't have the defense. He just got burned. He has that refresher. Does not have his ult for 30 more seconds. Arteezy is going to be running for freedom as they're looking for more kills. But will Radiant's Faceless middle push too far? Under attack. Press forward. They are able to get back onto this uh, Phoenix. Kill off the Phoenix. Looking for Arteezy here. Again, they popped his Aegis. Invisibility. Go, and they're gonna go blue free arbor into the pit. Roshan respawns right as Universe walks in, and well, this is it. All of the heroes gathered up around it. This could potentially be the last fight in the game. Bye -bye. Blue far between now. Rono comes in. They isolate the vengeful spirit right away. Our team is going to be making space, chasing back the shadow fiend. There, I'm able to disarm him. But now, vengeful spirit BKB trying to run up the hill, but it's gonna go ahead and get stunned. X comes in, Arteezy now running for his life. He's gonna be Lotus Orb, hook shot, not gonna connect onto anything in Universe. He's playing up time dilation for all he's worth. There are no casualties currently, but everyone just wants to go their separate ways. Oh, burned and nothing found from it. Who wins right. that? <laughs> no one. No, oh, EG Dyer's went there. Middle tower on a is under attack. Down. We have Conster up in 25 seconds, Coil up in 15. Shadow Fiend also on a long way to now they're gonna go forward. They are able to immediately hex up and kill off Shumail, dead without buyback. That's gonna be big. Now Glimpse back forward. They're keeping the rest of these two corralled. Get that Lotus Orb sprayed on him. Gonna be Manta dodging whatever he can, but XY burning low. Vessel dropped on him. Hookshot comes in though, and Hurricane Pike moving forward. Time lapse burns. On Spencer Spear, gonna be able to go forward and 
stun. The universe trapping his own allies inside the Chronosphere, but it doesn't matter. He's able to do some much needed damage to the enemy team. The Shadow Fiend getting so low, and they know there's no time left to help him out. And the Spear is going to be next to the next. He needs to go ahead and try to manage herself out of the situation, but gets dashed up by Universe. Hurricane Pike to try to get her some space on side. Chase after him, and now Ice 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 peels off as well. The last survivor, Jack, locked down, and the TG is called. Nietzsche has won game one after holding out in their race for so long. Thanks for watching. If you want more great content, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Wherever love flows, there is also tragedy. When we're in too deep, and you and I, we got history. Yeah.